Hey guys, I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I'm gonna explain why wrestling games move a THQ and 2K basically suck. And by suck, I mean they don't simulate wrestling well. Like, I made a video on why Here Comes the Pain is overrated on my second channel. Like, the game isn't terrible, it's just not really a wrestling game. Like, none of them are really wrestling games. Like, none of them simulate wrestling well. They're just glorified beat em ups. Like, you exploit the game's mechanics to beat a person up, then you fill up your super bar, which is your finisher, then you use it, then you pin, and you win. Like, that's not how wrestling works. In wrestling, the main aggressor of the match could end up losing. Like, Randy Orton could be getting beat up for the majority of the match, then he hits an RKO out of nowhere and wins. That could never happen in any game over THQ or 2K because the opponent's head HP is not red yet. For some weird reason, once 2K picked up the WWE license, they never decided to change their philosophy behind these games. A 2K22 looks more like a fighting game than a beat em up, but that's still not how wrestling works. Like, wrestling is more like anime. Like, see how in anime the main character gets beat up, then he picks back to his childhood or some crap and he miraculously wins? That's literally John Cena. And that has never been simulated in any wrestling game about THQ or 2K. Like, do not lie, do not lie. The comeback mechanic is not a good substitute, it's just a combo that does extra damage and gives you an instant finisher stop. And using a signature gives you a finisher stop. The best way to make a wrestling game is to make it more stat based and add in wrestler archetypes. Like, honestly, League of Legends is a good base for this, like think about Nasus for example, during the first 6 minutes of the game, he's timid, he just gets a stack in here and there, but then at 6 minutes, he gets his ultimate, and he can run you down. Imagine if John Cena was less likely to reverse moves at the start of the match, so he takes more damage at the beginning of the match, maybe he has damage reduction to mitigate that. Like, wrestling games could be a lot more intelligently made. For some weird reason, none of the guys who have ever worked on these games for the last 2 decades have ever thought about it in this way. Like, they have good ideas as well. Like, for example, I think reversal socks are a good idea. If I were to make 2K23, I'd bring those back. I would also make it so that you can randomly reverse moves. So the reversal stock guarantees a reversal when you really need it, but you can also randomly reverse moves. This simple change is better than how they implemented it back in 2K16 because remember, I said you exploit the game's mechanics. You either force your opponent to reverse just when the reversal stock is about to come back, which would eventually give you an overwhelming advantage, or when your opponent reverses a move like a stomp, just run and knock them down to the floor again. Then they just wasted the reversal stock. I'm not really going to explain exactly how I'd make wrestling games because remember, I want to eventually make my own games, right? Like, why would I tell 2K how I would fix wrestling games for free? Like, I'm going to do it myself. First I'll make a small basic wrestling game, then I'll just iterate on it, then I'll eventually make the best wrestling game of all time. Like, I, I, I know it sounds like ego now, but anyway, I'm going to focus on getting 1000 subscribers first, then I'll make small mobile games, then PC games, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that, yeah, thank you for watching and bye.